Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another character creator. So let's get cracking. Friends, if you haven't seen these before, first we modified this little boy so that we had our own custom one. This dude is built in. If you move over here and find creatures and characters, he is down the page a couple clicks and you can bring in the little fella called Celebrating Boy. Then I walked through the steps so we can make our own custom one so you can change their outfits. You can put them wearing whatever you want. You can add logos. It's a lot of fun once you've got the people. We had this arm created, so then we brought in the girl right here, and we were able to take this piece where the colors were locked and make it so we can change her outfit to whatever we want as well. It's really fun, and it gives you options. Today, friends, I'm going to show you quickly how to add fancy hair and make it so they're bending over like I use this girl later to be petting a dog. Friends, if you haven't done the earlier tutorials, there'll be cards up above so you can get caught up. All right, so let me walk you through the steps. First, I'm going to take this girl, and I'm going to do it from the top. And I'm just going to make a duplicate with Control D, making sure I've got all her fingers and everything else. Then I'm going to do Shift Nudge to move her over to a work area. Let's do F for Fit View, and let's look at her from the top. I'm going to delete her little headband, and I'm going to give her different hair. Once I've got the hair deleted, I'm going to bring in what I'm going to use for new hair. So I'm simply going to go back to basic shapes. I want a sphere. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to shrink it pretty small, something like size 4. I'm going to give her black hair. And then I'm going to do control up arrow to raise it up so it's close to her head. And then friends, I'm going to just do control D, nudge over, and do control D. And then I'm going to take those three, so shift select, shift select, and do control D. I'm going to raise those with control up and then I can nudge them back into place. I'm going to do control D again and it moves them a little bit after I use the arrows. Now I'm going to just grab one piece and do control D. I'm going to do control up, nudge it over, control D, control D, and you just keep adding these little hair chunks. This time I'm going to do four of them, so I'm going to do shift select, shift, 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 control D. These I want to go forward a couple clicks and I want to go up I'm going to do Control D again, and it memorized the forward and up. And you just keep building your awesome hair the way you want. So friends, once again, I'm going to do Control D, and I'm going to do Control Down so it moves down. I'm going to do Control D and give her another one there. Orbit and look from the side. I'm going to click on this piece right here, Control D, and Control Down. And you can see it's that easy to give your person custom hair. As you're tweaking and nudging, don't forget you can change the nudge to whatever size you want. Have fun and make it look just as cool as you want. I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to show you my next move. I want to go grab the cat. If you go to Creatures and Characters, it is right here. When you bring it in, it is huge. I'm going to hold down Shift and I'm going to shrink it. So now it's a small cat. Let's do F for Fit View and I'm going to put it over by my little girl. I'm going to take this little girl and I'm going to make it look like she's petting the cat. So here's the first step. I'm going to hide the legs and feet. And then I'm going to hide the head and body. And this is letting me get a hold of this arm accurately. So now that I can see this arm, I can grab it. And I'm going to look at it from the top. For it to pet the cat, I want it to rotate this way. Now I'm going to orbit and I want it to rotate this way. That's a good angle for petting a cat. Maybe I want to rotate it out a couple degrees, but this is where you can have fun adjusting this. If you want to flatten this hand out so the fingers are the other direction, I do want to show you that you need to do this. Put your work plane on the flat piece that would match the arm. I'm going to hide the cat so I don't run into him when I grab it. And now when I grab this hand, now it rotates in that direction. Let me spin around so you can see that happening. That rotation flattened out the hand. All right, friends. So now you can see that that is ready to reach out and pet the cat. So friends, now I've got it aimed for cat petting. I just need to grab it. So I'm carefully getting it to an angle where I can grab it. Let's do down arrow because that plane is like that. If I put my work plane back on the ground, then those planes make more sense. And I can move it out and get it so it looks like we're petting the cat. 
Now I do want to make her look like she's bending over. So I'm going to hide the feet again. And I'm going to grab everything but the arm. To make that even easier, I'm just going to hide the arm. Now I can just grab all of these parts. And then from this angle, I'm just going to lean her over whatever amount I think is cool. If I do show all, you can see we've got her aimed. She's reaching out. We just need to get it so that the arm is connected where it's supposed to. Once again, friends, whenever you're grabbing these pieces, hide your parts that are in your way. So there I've got her waist connected where it's supposed to be. I'm going to hide the cat real quick, get an angle so I can grab that arm, and now I can just use the arrows to nudge it where I want. And I can also change the rotation so it's exactly how I want. Let's find that rotation handle that's kind of hiding. That's a pretty nifty spot for a shoulder. Let's do show all. Put my kitty in place. <laughs> Let's do control Z because I had them both grabbed. And now it looks like she is petting the kitty or maybe even better holding hands. Finally, I'm going to change her outfit. Let's give her a light green bottom and I'm going to hold down shift and select the body and sleeves and I'm going to give this an awesome pink. How fun is that? Friends, as you can see on this girl, I gave her two hands. Those steps are just simply to copy the arm, move it to the other side. There are so many ways for you to have fun and make these totally incredible. Friends, remember if you ever do make something awesome and want to share it with me, you can click this button, generate a link, copy the link, and you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options are not available to you, don't forget I also have a website, hlmodtech.com. I have a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome lessons. And then at the bottom, there's also a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click on this link, add your information, and ship it to me almost instantly. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.